Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question 1. 6 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 7 is 42. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 2. 3 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 3 is 9. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 9 balls. Question 3. 2 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 7 is 14. To calculate, we have 2 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 14 balls. Question 4. 3 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 5 is 15. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 15 balls? Question 5. 5 times a 6 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 6 is 30. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 6, 8 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 2 is 16. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 7. 6 times 8 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 8 is 48. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 8. 8 times 5 equals what? So, 
So the answer is 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 9. 4 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is re. 4 times 7 is 28. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 10. 4 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 4 times 2 is 8. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 8 balls. Question 11. 8 times 9 equals what? So the answer is owns 8 times 9 is 72. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 12. 9 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 6 is 54. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 13. 4 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 4 times 3 is 12. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 14. 8 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 3 is 24. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 15. 4 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 4 times 5 is 20. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 16. 
Seven times seven equals what? So, the answer is, seven times seven is 49. To calculate, we have seven groups, with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 49 balls. Question 17. Five times two equals what? So the answer is five times two is 10. To calculate, we have five groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 18. Five times five equals what? So the answer is five times five is 25. To calculate, we have five groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 25 balls. Question 19. 5 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 5 times 9 is 45. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 20. 8 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 8 is 64. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 64 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.